Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from pre previous versions of Angular. In the last episode, I showed you how to generate a module. And I also showed you how to generate components inside that particular module. However, things are different when you want to use them in Angular 17. We need to import that module in the component that we want to use. That's what I'm going to demo it today, which is how to use the modules and components in Angular 17. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the first 18 episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to have continuity to your learning and also to master Angular 17 as there are a lot of breaking changes. All right. So to use any module or component from that particular module, there are three steps that we will follow. The first step is to export that component that you want to use. The second step is to import that particular module into the component where we want to use it. Last is to use the selector to map the component into the template. These are the three steps we will follow today. Let's get started. All right. So if you remember, we created a module called users.module and we created a component called add user module. Right. So the first step, if you want to use this component in, let's say, app component, right? So the first step is to add exports into the module and then export add user component. So here you are telling that I am trying to export a component by the name add user component from this module. Okay, that's the step number one. Then copy the name of the module. Go into the app component or whichever component you want to use it, right? We are trying to use it in app component. So here in the list of imports array, you will add one more module name, which is our users module. Okay. So if you see now this got imported and the same one, I have added it into the imports array. Now what we have done, we have told that this this module is required in app component. Now you can go to app component and use this particular component, which is app add user, right? So copy that selector name and go into the app component dot HTML and you can use it here just like this. So these are the three steps that will be followed. Now, just to show add user works, I'm going to add a heading and say, add new user component loaded from users modules all right so let's uh, open up the terminal and simply let's check the path okay we are in that path so i'm just going to say ng serve it's building okay it's compiled there are no errors it's successfully done so now when we go and launch our application, we should see the add new user component loaded from users module. So this is how you can load any module that we want into the imports array like this. And then we can just call that particular component using the selector name. Important thing to note, you need to make sure that it's exported. If you don't export it, let's see what happens. Now you are seeing that it's giving an error, right? It will say it doesn't know, correct? So hence, it's important to add it in the exports array. So now when you do it, you, you will not see the error anymore. Let me save it. Okay. So we exported the component. Let's check the app component. It's there and it's successfully Built, right so that's compiled successfully so remember that the three steps that you want to use first export the components that you want to use outside the module second step is to import that module into the component in the imports array third step is to use the selector to map the component that's all you have to do to use any module any component into another standalone component all right in the next episode I'm going to cover different types of modules that are that you can create in angular application if you want to build a modular based architecture i hope you are enjoying this series please do hit that like button and subscribe button for me to keep supporting and encouraging me 
Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.